1959, car was ready. All of a sudden, well, we ready to race. We didn't know how, what we really had to do uh, to qualify, but we assumed that um, a lot of questions were going to be asked. To play the part, we um, talked to our buddies there at the garage and um, talked them into buying us two racing suits, a white one and a blue one, one for all the one for me. You know, and so we looked professional. The other problem was uh, you had to show some kind of legal document. And, you know, what was practical? The license, driver's license. So here again at the gas station, we befriended an uh, editor of the local paper. I said, uh, can you do something with our birth date? And he did a pretty nice job. And thank God, no computers in those days, so nobody could really double check. But uh, so we were, we were golden there. And the next thing was, uh, okay, um, how do we go about entering? And here again, the gas station, uh, one of the customers was the race promoter. And we said, we have a, we're all ready, we have a race car ready to go. And he said, well, he says, uh, you know, that uh, they'll probably want to know, you know, if you have an experience. Oh yeah, we raced in Italy. Yeah, we raced Formula Junior in Italy. We're, you know, we're ready to go. I said, but we need, um, I wonder if we could let us just at least do some one day of testing, you know, to see whether the car runs and so forth. And because we had no idea what to expect. And so he granted us that, which was fabulous. So Aldo and I just went around and, you know, just uh, sliding and everything started looking pretty good. And, Whatever we knew, we just tinkered a little bit with the setup and so forth. And, uh, you know, it was so perfect for us, you know, to be able to just, you know, all of a sudden, here we're in. 